Hello and welcome back to Chapter 2 of Owl Diaries, Eva in the Spotlight. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Monday. Tonight, Granny Alberta came over for breakfast. She looked a bit sad. You see, Grandpa Alfred is away all week. He's building new tree houses on the other side of the forest. Are you okay, Granny? Oh, I'm fine, dear. I just miss Grandpa when he's away. I told Granny about the school play, and that cheered her up. I can't wait to see you on stage, Eva. Diary, I hope I get the starring role in the play. That would really make Granny smile. When I got to school, everyone was hooting about what our class play might be. Sleeping Hooty, Alice in Winter Winderland, Jack and the Beakstock, the Wizard of Owl. We all held our breath as Mrs. Featherbottom started talking. As you all know, we will be performing a play this Friday. You will each have an acting role and a job to do on set. And the play will be... Snowy White and the Seven Owlets. Yay! I love that story. Me too. Later tonight, I will put up your roles in the play. But right now, we need to write a list of everything we need to do before Friday. There's so much to do. This is the list we came up with. Write the script. Design the set, build the set, learn our lines, practice the songs, learn the dance moves, make the costumes, design the programs. I want to be a costume designer. Oh, that would be fun. I want to be snowy white. At the end of the night, Mrs. Featherbottom posted our parts in the play and our jobs off stage two. We crowded around to see the list. Cast list. Mrs. Featherbottom, director, Sue, Snowy White, and director's assistant, Carlos, evil queen and head of props, Zack, prince and script writer, Kiera, Hootie Owlet and script writer, Lucy, hungry Owlet and costume designer. Macy, Shorty Owlet and set designer. Jacob, Flappy Owlet and lighting designer. Zara, Mary Owlet and program designer. Lily, Snoozy Owlet and dance choreographer. George, Gloomy Owlet and set builder, Haley, Huntsman, 
and set builder. Eva, magic mirror, and the snowy white understudy, and costume designer. What does understudy mean? Hmm, I think it means doing your homework under a table. No, it doesn't, silly. It means if I'm sick, you get to do the role. So you will need to learn all my lines. But... I'm never sick. Oh, don't worry, Eva. You're the magic mirror, and that is a great role. Plus, we get to design costumes together. Lucy was right. Even though I had been hoping to tell Granny Alberta that I had the starring role. The play will be fun no matter what role I have, and costume design will be fun too. After school, I went to visit Granny. She still looked a bit sad without Grandpa, but she perked up when she asked me about the play. So, tell me everything. Did you get the starring role? Um... I didn't want to let Granny down, and I am the understudy for the starring role, so it wasn't exactly a lie when I said... Yes, I did. Uh, I'm going to be Snow White. Eva, that's super. Oh, dear diary. I can hardly sleep. What am I going to do when Granny comes to see me star in the play? She won't even see me on stage because I'm just the voice of a mirror. All I'd wanted to do was cheer Granny up, but this was not my best idea. End of chapter two. We'll see you back here for chapter three. Bye-bye.